You are watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're talking about what you need to know about breast surgery. Uh, if you're considering any type of breast surgery, uh, you have to hear what my uh, guest has to say. He's very well-known offices in Beverly Hills and Orange County, California, and he is known as the breast guy, amongst other things, right? I mean, you do faces and right. you do tummy tucks and everything else. But your website, thebreastexpert.com. Also, uh, and, this is, and this is a real interview. I mean, I'm not endorsing you on this show, but your website is very unique. I mean, you. you take patients and then you do these like uh, makeover kind of glamour photos that are very sexy, by the way. Very, very good. Okay. So you're talking about self-esteem. Right. That many people have hated their breasts for many years. Right. Yeah. Let me, and Lisa is a good example of that type of patient. Okay. Lisa underwent a mastectomy for breast cancer and then began the process of breast reconstruction with another doctor. And the result that he obtained left the patient horrified and literally afraid to go to the beach, go swimming, wear, wear a, a bikini. Okay. And she thought that that's the way she was going to have to live for the rest of her life. She was referred to me. And... Uh, like we, who refers her to you, by the way? Usually it's other patients. Okay. Or she may have found the website. And... Um, came to me, I told her I felt we could help her, and we reconstructed her breasts, and she became patient of the month. She's a beautiful woman. Very pretty. And very proud of her figure. So when, you, when you're on the consult, and, and you look at a woman and there was a problem elsewhere, in your mind, do you see the end result? Do you think, wow? I mean, are you, do you know exactly where this person went wrong in the last surgery and where you could turn it around? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay. But clearly you have to look at what the defect is and think in your mind, how can I correct it? And I've had patients with complications from augmentation mammoplasties who have required extensive um, reconstructive pr procedures. But the, the good thing to know is that it can be fixed. And that if there are problems, and I literally, relative to the breast, I don't, I don't care what it is, we can make you whole again. Okay, good. So after cancer treatment, and, and how do women, you know, after a mastectomy, how, how do they pick their doctor? Just whoever the... Well, so, many times now it's, it's based upon who their insurance carrier is. Okay. You know, unfortunately. But those patients that have very good insurance or have some money will seek a doctor. And I... I, I've treated patients literally from all over the United States and all over the world specifically for breast reconstruction. Matter of fact, most recently we had a patient fly in from North Carolina who had had her mastectomy done there and then flew Well, good for out. you. Just, just because uh, they know you, you for results. So do you want to be known for your results? Oh, I, I think every plastic surgeon does. Okay. All right. Now, you have more photos, and we're just yes. about out of time. What are we looking at over here? Well, here's another success along the same line. Here's a girl that lost 100 pounds and was horrified. You're kidding me. 100 pounds. She lost Looks 100 like a professional model right there. Right. And she was working in the back storage of a wine cellar. Didn't want to go out and And after her surgeries, she's now an exotic dancer in Vegas. Okay. And uh, you can see why looking at the photos. So uh, lost 100 pounds, goes to you. Did you do other things too or just her breasts? We did other things. Okay. All right. All right. Well, very and made her feel infinitely better about herself. Now, but is she like a lot of people that that their body or their self-image just completely changes holds them back in life? Absolutely, because absolutely, and it holds them back in in relationships or even getting involved in a a relationship. And then once they have the surgery, they feel better about themselves and their life opens up. Are you ever surprised at the transformations that you see when it's all done? By the surgery or the transformation in the Transformation patient? on them, in them. Oh, yes. I mean, there are people that go forward and do things, you know, and it, it, it makes me feel good about myself. But, you know, I was talking to your, uh, to your wife that was in, in studio, helps you uh, run your practice. And she says that a lot of the women have a tough time dealing with all the compliments they get. No, uh, it's absolutely. That's hard to believe. I, I know it, but, it, it, but it's true. Do they mean, tell you that too? Yeah, because they, in some respects, patients can't trust that attention. They're not used to having eyes focused on them, let's say, when they walk along a pool or, or walk into a club. And now all of a sudden they're getting loads of attention. And it's, 
it's it can be frightening. Do they say that? You know, people are asking me out. They're they're absolutely. The other day, I just had a patient tell us uh, she's a court court reporter she's in the courtroom a lot. Um, never was noticed before. Now. She goes in and all eyes focus on her when she walks into to the courtroom. She's being uh, asked out by lawyers who basically ignored her in the past. Is that right? Okay, so this last patient, you have one, one, one chance. This is right. great. I, I like this one. And this, uh, in some respects, is your you know, older patient, comes in, doesn't look been older taking care of her parents what is who her are age older. Approximately. Fifties. Uh, Fifties, okay. And comes in as unhappy about the appearance of her body and for the first time wants to do something for herself and decides that she wants to go ahead and have a facelift and uh, breast lift augmentation and uh, very happy and her husband very supportive and now she's uh, you know is a fitness guru. So is that right? Cool. She looks like a million bucks. So you did the she face. Does. Very natural by the way. Thank you. Looks good and uh, now, do you think people put things off too long? That means that they I mean, do they confide in you? Obviously, you know, the, 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 the public, especially, man, we don't hear about all these insecurities like you hear on a daily basis. Well, you've but the people say, I've been miserable for 10, 20 years? Or yeah, I, I, well, I, many patients who have put off doing things because of they felt were other obligations to their family or to okay. their children. And now they have the opportunity, I want to do something for myself. I have heard that once, I've heard it a thousand times. Is that right? They say that right. a lot. And okay. then they go and do a complete mommy makeover or daddy makeover. Yeah, now, and we're out of time, but you do ma male breast as well? I do. A lot of technique I hear there. Yes, I do. And again, judgment is involved. But yes, I see uh, men who are troubled by man boobs and uh, come in to have them uh, uh, removed. Similarly, I have transgender patients, uh, female to male, who are unhappy with their breast and also want to remove their breast as seamlessly and scarlessly as possible. Okay, good. Final message, by the way, we're out of time. Somebody watching this, they're not happy with their breast or, or, or any part, I mean, you're a plastic surgeon. What do you say to them? There definitely is hope. And I think that they need to seek out an expert in the field. If they want to go to my website or make an appointment with us. Um, we can help them. And there are many techniques that were not available previously, like we mentioned capsule contracture. You do not have to live with capsule contracture. It, That's a hardened breast, is that correct? It's a hardened okay. breast from scar around it. It can be corrected reliably. And, and as far as techniques, I mean, would you say yeah. that you're using or, or, or in the know of all the new stuff? Yeah, That's out uh, absolutely. There for... You asked about my education, and obviously I have very good training. But in point of fact, I don't do anything today like I was trained to do because Interesting. times have changed, techniques have changed, instrumentation has changed, even the, instru even the implants have changed. So things are better, and I think those physicians who are getting the best results are those that have, so to speak, changed with the times and kept up with what's going on. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Interesting stuff. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again online, you can visit our website at wellnesshour.com. Just put in Dr. Corbin, uh, and, and we'll give you a copy of this. It'll be on your website as well. Yes. This, th this tape. Uh, look Websites. at the website. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Uh, go to thebreastexpert.com. Very interesting website. I, pr probably none other like it that I've ever seen. Thank and, you. Uh, and uh, I guess if you're not happy with your breasts, you can do something about it. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.